Taking a look at question number seven and question number eight from the fractions, decimal, and percents practice. They only give us eight one hundredths. From there, we need to convert it to a decimal and convert it to a percent. So if you get out your graphic organizer um, and take a look at it, you're going to see a few different options of how we can go about doing this. Um, <clears throat> the number is eight one hundredths, eight one hundredths. Um, and when we have a fraction, to get to a decimal, we can take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So on your calculator, you could take 8 um, and divide it by 100. And you would end up with the answer of 0 0.08. And that would be your decimal equivalent uh, in question number 7. So once again, that's just using your um, graphic organizer to help you see what to do. Now we have a couple of different options here. Once again, we could go from a fraction to a percent, um, or we could also move this decimal that we calculated to a percent. Well, since we already know um, the fraction equivalent is 8 one hundredths, it's going to be easiest. Um, that's information that's given. We didn't make any mistakes on it. Um, it's probably going to be easiest to go off of that. Our denominator is already 100. Um, and anything over 100, the percent is just the numerator. So it's going to be an 8%, 8% for that question. And if you wanted to double check that, um, you could try, you know, once again on your calculator, 8 uh, divided by 100 for your uh, fraction to make sure it's 0 0.08. 8% uh, if you had it as a um, change it to a decimal, we know that the decimal place would be here, and we would move one, two places to the left, and that would give us 0 0.8, meaning that our uh, decimal equivalent is correct as well. So those are just some different things to look at uh, for questions number seven and question number eight. If you guys have any questions, please email me.